So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Just got home from work a few minutes ago. I ran out to the uh, mini cabin. Had to do a little measuring. I'm going to, uh, I have one more wall to build. I'm going to do that tonight. And then this weekend, uh, actually might take Friday off. We'll put that wall up, put the roof on, and uh, get back on that. But on my way back to the house here, I spotted this oak tree here. I'm not sure what's going on with this one. Looks like a nice, healthy red oak from down here. There's a few leaves left on it up there, but everything's brown, shriveled up. Definitely doesn't look like the rest of them. So I don't know what's going on there. I'll have to keep my eye on this one. And I actually called a uh, forester uh, yesterday from the, uh, I guess it's the Pennsylvania DEP or ODN, yeah, not ODNR, that's Ohio. And a real nice girl, and uh, actually she offered to come out here sometime to take a look at some trees. Uh, you know, I've showed you different parts of the property before. It's all different. This area right here, they're a little bit more mature. Uh, and that way right there, they're not. You know, and I want to talk about maybe some thinning, uh, just whatever. But she seems very knowledgeable, and uh, I have a lot of questions for her. So if I can get her out here for a couple hours, we'll go for a ride. But, uh, and see kind of what's going on here, what my best plan would be. But yeah, I'll have to keep my eye on this one. I don't think it's oak wilt. I had another nice red oak last year that just kind of died like this. And, uh, but nothing else ever died around it. But just in case, you know, if it is oak wilt, something like that, I'll wait till it gets cold to cut it. But I think, you know, that disease is transferred through the roots or from bugs, and they say don't cut them down until it gets cold. But I'll ask her when she comes out what she thinks. But if I do take this one down, I get one really nice saw log out of this. This is probably, I don't know, 22 inches in diameter, something like that. Maybe even two. And a bunch of firewood. I could drop it right down in that valley right there and actually have access to it from down there and up here behind me. So shouldn't be too big a deal, but we'll see what she says. Anyway, I'm rambling. That's not what today's video is about. We're going to go over the house. I'll show you a saw that I bought and uh, see what you think of that. All right, got to go. It is so nice out right now in this time of year. Nice and cool, sun shining, beautiful. Just on the way out there, I saw eight deer. Man, a beautiful time of year. Then comes winter, which, you know, kind of gets kind of brown and gray and wet and snowy, but uh, that's not all bad either. Then you can look forward to spring, and it starts all over again. All right, here it is. It's a DeWalt 7 and a quarter cordless sliding compound miter saw kit. Now, I'm not, I'm not too sure how this is going to work. It should be okay, don't get me wrong. Uh, and the only reason I buy DeWalt stuff is because I have other DeWalt stuff. I've got a drill, uh, the impact, the cordless circular saw, all the uh, 20 volt or the 20 volt max lithium ion batteries. And so you start accumulating some batteries and uh, it's hard to go to a different brand. And there's a lot of people that really seem to like the Milwaukee stuff. I've never had any, but uh, that's the only reason I got DeWalt. And the reason I bought this is, uh, you know, we're going to be working on the little mini cabin out there, siding, trim, all that kind of stuff. This should be pretty handy, and it's not real heavy either. So it's kind of nice toting around, going out, setting it up out in the woods or uh, wherever you're going to work. But I'm telling you, the cordless stuff, battery power stuff has come such a long way over the last several years. It's amazing. And hopefully... You know, I end up happy with this. We'll see. Like I said, it's seven and a quarter inch. It's a sliding compound miter saw. We'll get it out. I'll charge that battery up. I have another one that'll fit in it. We'll try it out, see what we think. Nice and light.
Good that way. So this saw cost, I think it was $369, I believe, something like that. Hopefully it was worth it. We'll see. Thinking battery and chargers in here. That's the bigger one, that's good. Actually it's got two bars right now. We'll try it out with this battery first. Try it out, see how it does. How's it going? Good. Good. How's it going here? Good. I like the saw so far. Good. I was, uh, Melissa and I were talking a little bit ago. I like my new shoes I got so far. Oh yeah, you got new shoes, didn't yeah. you? Melissa was talking, uh, we were talking a little bit ago about the uh, Paul Bunyan thing. And it's not my zipper, it's my fly does that, sorry. I wonder what you're doing there. Yeah. But uh, we were talking about meeting everybody at Paul Bunyan. Yeah. And all the different, uh, ages, you know, older people, younger people, kids, but the thing that fascinates me the most is all the different uh, like professions that people do. We yeah. have attorneys, truck drivers, funeral director, preacher, preacher, just anything you could think of. IT people. Oh yeah. I mean all sorts of people. A sheriff. A sheriff. But you know what? And and there were so many couples Paramedics. Too. I can't think, I mean. I like that everyone comes out, but it's great that the husband and the wife came out together. Yeah, just like we and, did, Melissa. Well, but there was a few women that were like, I don't watch your show, but this really means a lot to him. I'm like, it means a lot to me that you support him to s come support us. That's so <laughs> yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah, one guy brought his daughter. He goes, I'm going to be honest, she doesn't watch the show. I'm like, that's okay. Yeah. She might one day. You know, all sorts of things. It really is interesting. Here comes the hunt man. Oh. This one. Hunter, want to sit down by your mom? Have a seat. Yeah? Want to sit down here? What do you think? Can you tell everybody thank you for all the gifts? Hunter's got so many nice cards and gift cards, shirts, um, hats, hats, um, and a few like cards and posters, a puzzle piece someone made him. Are you tired, Hunter? Um, what else? He has boxes of stuff. It's so exciting. To Hunter, it's like having a birthday every day. Yeah, he wears. And also, I want to uh, mention, so let us know in the comments what uh, you guys do for a living, and uh, if you're retired, what you did do. I, that kind of stuff fascinates me, and maybe where you're from. Remember, we used to ask that all the time. Yeah. But yeah, that'd be good. Let us know in the comments. Any dog trainers? Dog trainers. Groomers? Groomers. Vets? Uh, vets. Any, any dogs working for a living? Yeah. Piper doesn't do a whole lot. She's not a working dog. She's, she's a therapist. Yeah, she needs a therapist. I know, she needs oh. a therapist. Ah, ah. Yeah, go ahead, go get one. 
Go ahead. Honey. Go ahead. So um, I'm yeah. not sure if this has been shared on the video before, and I'm not sure if we'll make the edit, but Hunter loves soda, and we have sodas that we keep in locked lockers. And this is what happens. So go ahead, you go get one. So he knows he can't unlock them, but we had to make a change. So the lockers are empty. Go ahead, check it out. I just, yeah, so he just pulls us to these lockers and he doesn't know where the key is, but um, yeah, so that had to come to an end. So today I, I switched. He's allowed to take um, a soda to his day program and he gets the other half of it when he comes home and uh, he knows that they're locked up, but he just doesn't quit. So I did him a favor and I relocated his stash of soda. We'll see how long that lasts. That's all I'm saying. So if you didn't see the uh, last video, I'll put it up above, but uh, Melissa did that entire video herself. Ooh. I still did the editing. And uh, now that it's getting dark earlier, you're probably gonna see more of that and a little bit more variety in our videos because it'll be kind of more of her day-to-day -day stuff when I'm at work. But then on the weekends, we'll kind of knock a bunch of stuff out. It'll pretty much stay the same. Maybe one additional video a week of just Melissa. Yeah. Yeah, don't panic, it'll be fine. So anyway, I'm telling you, it was a beautiful fall evening. Just not long enough, it's getting dark so early. Uh, but uh, we really enjoy this time of year. And like I said at the beginning of this video, fall is fantastic. Winter after it, not so much. I mean, it's <laughs> not bad, it's just kind of gray and brown. They're saying, not that they know, that we may get a bunch of snow this year, who knows? I kind of hope we do. I would rather it just stay frozen from like Christmas till March and then warm up. That's kind of pretty. The that's what pretty. that's what I would like to see happen. I don't know if uh, we'll be lucky enough for that to happen, but at least when it's frozen, you can do some stuff outside. If you have those real wet and rainy, oh, you know, right. snows one day, rains the next, it's a disaster. So hopefully we have a pretty decent winter, but right now we are going to enjoy the fall because it is our favorite time of year. And I think in a week or two, we may go up, uh, like north central Pennsylvania. We were up there not too long ago to the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful up there. Lots of beautiful hardwoods changing colors. Really, really nice time of year to be up there. But anyway, I think that's about it. Uh, this wasn't a really full detailed review on the DeWalt saw, but so far so good. We'll kind of report back on it later. And like I said, the only reason I go with DeWalt is because I have so many batteries. That's pretty much it. A lot of guys like their Milwaukee's. Doesn't okay. matter either way, but anything that can make life a little bit easier and I think this will. Plus, it only weighs 30 pounds, which oh. is nice. You can just pick it up, throw it in the so ranger. you don't need my help. <laughs> anyway, yeah, she is pretty strong. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like we Go always ahead, say. But anyway, like we always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.